It's an Arizona race that's drawn national attention. This year, voters will decide who will fill the remainder of the Senate term of late Senator John McCain. We are profiling both candidates. Thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Pat Paris is working remotely. It's now only 36 days until the November election. Important deadlines are approaching if you want your vote to be counted. First, a check of how many are registered as of today. The Pima County Recorder reports just over 611,000. That's 1,000 more than last week. The voter registration deadline is one week away. You can register online, in person, or by mail. Early voting starts next Wednesday, October 7th. Now let's get to that closely watched race for Arizona Senate. Here are the latest polls by ABC News and Washington Post. Among registered voters, Mark Kelly is leading Martha McSally by 5%. But with likely voters, the race is essentially tied, showing a razor thin margin between the two candidates. It is a hotly contested race, with voters deciding who will be senator through 2023. McSally's seat is one of Senate Democrats' top electoral targets this year, along with seats in Colorado, Maine, and North Carolina. Now on your sides, Craig Smith interviewed both candidates, and we start with McSally. Rather than bogged down in the charge and counter charge of modern campaigning, we wanted to keep things simple. We met outdoors and kept our distance. Our invitation to each candidate was sell yourself. Why should voters choose you to look out for Arizona in the United States Senate? McSally says she has tied for the most bills passed through the Senate. I've saved the A-10 Warthog, the plane that I flew that is so critical for Davis Month and Air Force Base. You know, I've fought uh, to ensure that the Cherry Bell Postal Processing Facility stayed open while I was in the House, and we're still engaging on that when I'm in the Senate. Uh, strong support for Raytheon and the University of Arizona. McSally retired from the Air Force as a colonel. She often mentions being the first woman to fly in combat and says the qualities she learned in the service help her in the Senate. And when you see a problem we need to solve, do what's best for the country, do what's best for your constituents, and then just tirelessly work to try and find common ground. We had to do that in the military, right? We put aside our differences, we focus on the mission in order to protect and serve others. And so that mindset and those core values allow me to be effective in Washington. So what will it say if Arizona voters send Martha McSally back to the United States Senate? Well, Arizona is an independent state. We care about our freedoms and our way of life. I've been fighting for Arizona. Uh, I'm going to continue to fight for Arizona. And it's, again, what kind of country do you want to live in? Who do you trust to get the economy going again? And who do you trust to keep your family safe, to stand up to China, border security, support to our military? Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. I've been fighting for middle-class Arizona. Well, Martha McSally has to defend her Senate seat from a challenge by retired astronaut Mark Kelly. Here's his profile from Nine Inner Sides, Craig Smith. In these profiles, we've tried to stay away from the endless charges and counter charges that can dominate a campaign. We just sat down, socially distanced, and asked each candidate to sell themselves to Arizona voters. Now, both Senator McSally and I are both combat veterans, uh, but I also i am an engineer. Uh, I served at NASA for 15 years. I have experience you know, leading groups of people with diverse backgrounds to do very difficult and complicated things. And I think the United States Senate is lacking that. Mark Kelly is running as a Democrat, but he cites Republican John McCain's reputation for building compromise across party lines at a time when partisan positions are common and compromise is rare. I think it means you have to have change. And if that change means you got to have different folks serving in the United States Senate, Sure. I mean, that's that's I think that at this point, the partisanship and the uncompromising uh, way our government is trying to function right now. I think that's the kind of change you need. Kelly says he wants to address climate change and rebuild the post COVID economy with jobs that look towards the future. So what does it say if Arizona voters choose Mark Kelly for the Senate? I think it says they want change and I think it says they want somebody who's going to stand up uh, to make sure that they don't lose their health care coverage. Uh, that the price of their prescription medications come down. I think it says that they want somebody who's going to work in an independent way, who isn't going to be a partisan. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. 
Now, we interviewed the two Senate candidates before a very hot issue arose in this Senate race. How and when to replace the seat on the Supreme Court left vacant by the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Now, Martha McSally says she supports the Republican drive to replace Ginsburg before the election. Mark Kelly supports the Democrat stand that the person voters choose for president in the November election should fill that Supreme Court seat.